Hi everybody, it's uh, been longer than intended. Um, I was doing so good and I was so proud of myself for posting, you know, more than just once a month. And then I got influenza A. And then for the week after influenza A, I didn't really have a voice. And for some reason today, it started to go out again. So we're gonna limp through because I have so much to show and I need to get everything updated and I have giveaways to give away, um, and we need we need to do this. So, um, <clears throat> hopefully my voice holds out. You're probably gonna see and hear people coming and going. It's gorgeous outside, so Brian and the kids are out back with the dog, um, but they're gonna be coming in and out. You might even hear music in the background because he put a Bluetooth speaker outside, so a little bit of background noise today. Um, I'm gonna jump right in with FFOs. <laughs> um, well, which reminds me, I need to go grab one of them. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so my first FFO is a finish from a long time ago. It was a Mill Hill kit. And here it is. And this was a frame that I picked up a long time ago at Hobby Lobby. Nope, sorry, Michaels. And this was a teal distressed frame. I spray painted it black. I actually have a matching one. I love the frame. And then I just used a straight pin to push that down in there. So this is the first one. And then I still have a mill, the kind of like coordinating one as a whip. Hi, buddy. So this one will also get put on one of those frames. There's Ethan. Um, so I'll have a, I'll, I'll have the, you know, set of the lanterns for um, Halloween. So now that the frames are spray painted, I really just need to finish this whip and then I'll have it done. So that'll be nice. But I really, I'm, I'm really happy with how those spray painted and how it's a glossy and just how ornate the frame looks. And I really, I mean, this is my start on that kit. I really, they go pretty quick. I need to get it done. My other FFO, this is the one that's a gift for a friend of mine. Her birthday was in January. She's actually coming in from Colorado next week, end of next week, I think. So rather than ship it, I'm just going to wait until she gets here and give it to her. But that came out nice. And that frame did come from Hobby Lobby. I really like it too. It's got some, I mean, you can see it's got some depth to it. So it's really nice. Originally it was supposed to be an ornament and then I was like, eh, and I showed it to her and she said she'd rather have it, you know, like framed so she can leave it out all year. So my other FFOs are actually fabric dyeing and I'll explain why I did the fabric dyeing in a little while, but here's the first one. Here's the second. And there is a third piece, but it was also a new start slash whip, so you'll see that in a little bit too. And then outside of the um, fabric dyeing and the other FFOs, I did have a finish as well. I need something to put behind it. There's my finish. I had most of the rabbit and the whole carrot done so all I had to do was the cat and the back stitching, you know, like the, the um, words. So it's stitched up pretty quick. It's on a really pale pink. The well, lighting is not the, the best, but it's a really pretty pale pink mystery linen that I had in my stash. So I was able to pass that um, pattern on to a friend that was looking for it. She had everything. They, she had the whole year series except for... March and April, so I pass that on. So that is it for FFOs and finishes, whips. 
I have a lot of whips. <laughs> I feel like I didn't do much, but I really did. So let's start with Animal Almanac. This is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along for the year. And I have the third month printed out and ready to go, but I haven't started it yet. So here is January and February. Little fox in the bathtub, in the shower. So cute. And then month three is the frog. So I'll be getting a nice green froggy down here with a rainbow. And I'd like to get that started in the next couple days. I definitely want to have it finished by the end of March. Super proud of myself for sticking with um, the actual stitch along part and having the first two months done in the month they were released. So I want to continue that. And that's being stitched on 28 count cashel um, in the color Stonehenge from uh, Color and Cotton. I'm running out of places to put things. Um, my next whip are my two versions of the Peppermint Purple um, Blackwork Sale. I got behind. Granted, I was sick. And being sick with the flu, I didn't feel good enough to really stitch a couple of the days. So I didn't. I'm working on week 10 for my version that has the called for colors. Yeah, and week 10 was last week's pattern, so I'm not super far behind. But week 11 releases tomorrow. So I need to get week 10 finished up. And then I still have to decide if I'm going to do a border. And there were a few different border options in the group. So I need to kind of look through those. My cousin, uh, Jeannie Smith, she picked out an, a gorgeous border. Um, and, it, and it looks really nice. So I'll have to kind of cruise see, through the options and see if I want to add one. Um, I think I have enough room on the piece with the called for colors, but I'm not sure I'm going to have enough room on this one. This is my bright version. And, I mean, I guess technically I probably would, but I don't know. So I'm really happy with this as well. I love the bright colors. And from a, I guess from a distance, you really, you can see the details of the back stitching. Sometimes when I'm working on it, I feel like you can't tell. But, hi, Peanut. Can I see her? Yes. I am behind. I still have to do week 9, week 10, and then tomorrow will be week 11. And week see. 11 will release a new color. Or no, week 10 starts a new color. Oh, you're getting heavy. Hi. You need a Kleenex. Go get a Kleenex, then come say hi. Gross. I think some of us in the house are also struggling with the start of allergy season. Okay, are you boogie free now? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Tell them what you're doing. Playing outside. Playing outside, is it nice out? Yes. Are you getting cold? Not yet. Okay. All right. You gonna go play some more? Okay. This way, this way. <coughs> okay. Do not slam the door. Okay? Thank you. Hey, she actually listened and didn't slam the door. Uh, my next whip is the pattern I got from uh, mybobbin.com was the succulent pattern. Find something to put behind here. And I've kind of been taking a break from this. But I have all of the top done, I mean minus the back stitching, but I have all of the plant done and I'm moving down into the pot. There's one color blend here you can see. And from far away, I mean you can even see what that lighter color is doing with the, you know, the reflective look and I'm really happy with this piece. I'm looking forward to finishing this one and putting it in my office. It would probably go faster if I worked on it, right? Let's see, what else did I work on? This was a new start. 
This is my lifeline number one for my um, whip group that I'm in. I had to start this for myself. And this is the other piece of fabric that I dyed as well. It's baby Yoda. Uh, the pattern is from Etsy. Last I looked, the pattern was still up. The shop name is Snarky Not Sorry. And the pattern is called Baby, Baby Lima Bean. <laughs> Probably to avoid having it taken down. But it's so awesome. So awesome. I'm so excited to get that finished. And that's how that fabric turned out. And that was using tan rip. So once this is finished, um, since it's a circle, I'm going to um, frame it in just a wooden hoop. And I'll probably paint the hoop. Um, let me put this with that. And then I worked on my little Rovaris kit um, for the bat. Got a little bit further. This one's really, it, it really is not complicated. I don't understand why I'm struggling so hard with working on this one. I should be further than this. I should be done with this. I'm not. I'm just struggling. I, I, I'm, I like it. It's cute. I hate working on it. I guess. Um, I don't know why. But that's in my pile to finish soon. Um, or soon-ish. Um, that pattern is earmarked for um, somebody. So I, I'd like to get this finished and send the pattern off. Uh, so it's not in my hands anymore. I took some time to work on one of my mania starts from a while ago. This one. And I had started in the moon, so I obviously picked back up in the moon. Um, didn't realize that I never bought a couple of the... <coughs> Excuse me couple of the floss colors oh it was it's two different DMC metallics I don't know I might look at the colors and maybe try to switch them out for treasure braid or something I I hate working with the DMC metallics so I do have to figure that out but here's where I left off goodness another baby Yoda minder so I did get quite a bit added here, and I came down here a little bit too. So, and this is an Ada. Um, this is 14 Count Mystic by Picture This Plus. And it sounds like the kids are outside purposely throwing the Frisbee on the roof or something. I don't know. Something is going on. Um, this one's probably going to get put away for a while because I have some other priority projects that I'd like to work on. Um, I didn't work on this one for very long. Okay, then I had my start for leap year, leap year in uh, the whip group. And the rules were that it had to be started by leap day, you know, by the end of February, and it had to have at least 29 colors. So, I am stitching, I don't have a photo of it. It's a pattern from Artisy. Uh, it's a tropical butterfly. So it's, here's the color palette. I mean, gorgeous bright colors, right? Um, I got almost all of the first page done, and here's my start. 
And this is being stitched on a piece of fabric from Mo's Sale. You can see it's got a little bit of like a seafoam green and a little bit of blue and then some white showing through. And I just, I love those bright colors. I did have a hard time putting this one down. So I'll probably have to work on that one again soon. And then, since last Thursday was my birth, or last Saturday was my birthday, I pulled out a piece to have a, my birthday start. Um, in the whip group, we're allowed one start for our birthday during the month of our birthday. So I pulled out this kit. And this is going to stitch up to be smaller than I thought. It's going to be like six and a half, six and a half by 11 or something like that. And here is my start. So the bud at the top is full cross. This is all half cross stitches and one of them is a blend. So I'm working on the background and I'm going from the top middle down. So I'm, I'm loving that one. <laughs> They're having problems with a game outside. Somebody's making up rules as they go, I think. So that is all of my whips. And then I also inherited a whip. Um, Carrie, my stitchy wife, sent me a message and asked if I would like this whip for um, to finish up for Ellery. And it is a Doreen Jones pattern. I don't have a picture of it, but it's... Um, from Mermaid and Carrie was stitching this on a piece of Ada that she hand dyed and this is how much she had done so that should be a quick finish and that fabric that's pretty true to color for the fabric so um, Ellery really likes it she wants me to obviously have it done already but <laughs> such is life That is whips. And then I'm going to have another whip soon. And it's for one of my starts for the whip group. And we are allowed one stitch along start for the of our choosing. Um, so I am actually going to do a stitch along with a few others. And it's um, Night Walked Down from the Blue Flower. And I think I'm going to omit the border because straight borders just make it that much harder for framing on your own. And then I couldn't decide if I wanna do some color converting. So I have it kitted with the called for floss minus cherry bark, cause we didn't have that at the shop that night. I just have yet to really look at the colors and where they go and if I wanna change anything. So I'll probably be starting that one soon. Um, outside, uh, let's see. So that's it for whips, finishes, FFOs. We have all that done. Plans. I don't have any other plans yet. Um, we do get one market start in the month of March through the whip group. So I'm waiting for my pre-orders to show up from um, Marie at Just Add Needles. Um, I think I have some pictures here of what I pre-ordered. So let's see. Why can't I find these screenshots? So here's what I pre-ordered. I did not pre-order that. I asked somebody what it was. So I pre-ordered this, this one, this one is a contender for my start, and then I got the whole makeup series from Karen. Is there just the three or did she have a four? I think it must just be the three. This is a contender, gorgeous. Um. This one down at the bottom, really, did I screenshot it with that? I did. So it's purples and blues in the bottom. It's really pretty. I ordered, this was a whole kit. 
Yeah, that was expensive. I didn't really think about that, but that's okay. Uh, this is another contender. I'm not sure. Oh, that is it. And then I had one other pre-order that I had them pick up while they were at market. It was um, Erica Michaels. She had uh, a new berry pattern out for Easter. So that is should be coming too. So I'm not sure what my market start will be, but I have choices. Um, let's do haul first, then I'll go into like some stitchy news and life updates, and then we'll do the giveaway. So haul. Keep in mind, I have been doing a lot better with my spending. Um, but this is a whole month's worth of haul. Um, and it wouldn't have even been this big except Picture This Plus had an orphan sale a while ago. I did some damage, but I'm going to call it a birthday gift to myself. Uh, this is my last set uh, from Nest Egg with Trisha, three owl threads. Um, this was actually... <laughs> I had paid for this this month's and then I was getting ready to email her and let her know I needed to take a break from nest egg and it turned out this was the last order um, color wise um, you can see I mean we finished with Xmas green and Xmas red so everything that she was able to get for nest egg I have um, I don't know if any of them had been on back order I don't think they were with the sulky so my set is complete, and now I need to get one of those boxes from Amazon and get everything organized and start using them. This was um, Moe's sale. I had a couple different weeks that I had gotten stuff from Moe's sale. Probably combine these all into one bag. So here are... <clears throat> the mulberry silks very pretty very pretty and then there were a couple of cotton colors that I picked up that's not going to show up really well with the lighting yeah, that's better and then this is silk as well, single strand silk, but I don't, it's not mulberry silk. It, it feels different. I mean, it's whatever. I just don't know what it is, but I got these three. That one's white and it's sticking to my hands. My, You know, I got sick with the flu and my immune system was just shot and that made my eczema flare up really bad on my hands um so silk sticks to my hands oh you can see where it's all cracked i have a really bad patch right here that you can't really see but i couldn't even stitch the last couple nights because it hurts so bad so i actually went to the doctor today and got a steroid injection because i can't get it to clear up on its own hopefully it cools down in a couple days because it's driving me nuts. It itches and it hurts at the same time. Um, I only got two from Kathy, dying to cross stitch. Man, you gotta be fast with her on Sundays now. I shouldn't even tell you it's Sundays to watch her site because now I have even less of a chance. <laughs> she's doing great. I, I mean, she's selling out fast. Um, so... And then this was my floss of the month from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Teals. Very pretty. Very pretty. This was uh, February's. So that's it for floss. Oh, I picked up these tweezers that somebody had recommended. I don't remember who recommended them. It's, um, I got them on Amazon. It's Clover. Might have been Crafty Cat. I'm not sure. But I picked these up. I need to try them for pulling out specialty fibers, you know, cat hair. And so I actually, because they came highly recommended, I bought a second set to use in my big, 
in my big giveaway that I'm doing. Um, minders, we might as well do those next, I guess. Excuse me, one second. <coughs> That's the remnants that I have. I get croup with every respiratory illness, so I'm still dealing with that. I'm special. <laughs> okay, so I did some needle minder shopping. This is the, I don't know if somebody's trying to come in or what. Okay. Stitch. I love me my stitch. This one, this one is from um, Kim. Let me move this so you can see. Needle Attractions on Facebook. So I got my stitch and then the little m and was a little freebie. Thank you, Kim. And then I ordered from Gina. So somebody had commented on my this minder that I had. So I bought these to eventually do as giveaways because I know that there are so many of us obsessed with Baby Yoda because he's the cutest. So I have a couple to keep on hand for giveaways. Plus, I got myself the Pretty Dragon and Mulan. Here's that. Wrap these back up so they don't get damaged. And then I ordered from True North Minders. And more Yodas to give away. And she actually included a couple extra. Um, as a gift because she saw that I was um, getting them for giveaways. So two of them broke in transit. My supernatural car and this sloth head came off. <laughs> so I told her to set, to set them aside and she can save on shipping by waiting until the next time I order. And so those will be coming soon. But this is um, the car from Supernatural. Here's the other Supernatural Minder. And then these two little babies, so cute. And the last of my minders arrived today. These came all the way from um, UK. The UK? Yes. Agnes Little Minders on Etsy. These are my custom baby dragons. So around the holidays, she opened up a few spots for customs. And I was lucky enough to snag a spot and she agreed to do two. So these are my baby birthstone dragons. Ellery was born in May. So she put glitter on there too for my baby girl. Ethan was born in June, so it's light amethyst, and then she put the pearly finish on it. And they are so stinking cute. Like, she's got such an amazing eye for detail. I am super happy with these. I had to actually go pick these up at the post office today. It required a signature. <laughs> so I was really... Really excited when I got the slip in the mail yesterday and sad at the same time because I had to go actually pick it up um, and didn't have it just in the mailbox. Um, I'm going to jump in. This is from Stash Unload. This is Creation Tempting Tangles. And I actually already had this pattern, um, but I had to get this picked up as soon as I saw it. I think it was Stash Unload. It might have been a different group because it's fully kitted with linen and the super hard to find silks. So yeah, gorgeous. And it was a super good price too. Um, this is hdfhanddyedfibers.com. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't do the silks. They don't do dyeing anymore. So, extremely lucky to find that. That may end up being a start sometime this year. Um, just a little bunny. Mill Hills are cute little projects for me to keep at work for downtown or for my breaks. Got the lion biscorno from Tiny Modernist. Um, rack stack finally came in. And I'm pretty sure this is the fabric for it. This is my this might have actually come in a while ago. I pulled it back out because the fabric finally came in for it from Bush Mountain Stitchery. And it is 32 count Lugana in azure blue. No. No, I got the fabric for this a while ago too, Mermaid's Brew. This was just a color that I pre-ordered when they posted that it was gonna be a new color. So that's not, that's not a thing. Um, I picked up these three on Stash Unloading. From the Owl series. It's got Daisy May Who and Holly Who and Hilda Who. So I'm excited to stitch those. This was also from Bush Mountain Stitchery. Oh, I just love that. So cute. Lately, Ellery has been really digging Cinderella. She's been watching that the time. Um, I picked this up and it turned out to be a magazine chart. I got two months of issues from the world of cross stitching. And I want to say this one didn't really have much in it that I liked, but I could be wrong. It's in this month. Oh, there's, there's a couple. Oh, I licked my finger. I shouldn't do that. Coronavirus. Oh, I did it again. Whatever. I'm already sick, right? <clears throat> um, where is the one that I really like? This one. It's cute. And this issue, this one I'm not sure, I haven't flipped through it since it, since I got it. This is really cute. Fox. Yeah, this one didn't have a ton. And then I had ordered this <laughs> this magazine on, um, from Bush Mountain because I liked the stocking. Okay, so the pattern for the stocking is not in here. It's the finishing instructions for the stocking. Oops. So I might... Um, I don't know. I wasn't, I, I didn't pay attention, I guess. And I did find, I did find one pattern in here, though, that I w could see myself stitching. Just for this one. The dragons in the snow. So maybe I'll just hang on to it for that. Um, I have two months of my bag of the month. Hi Roxy. Two months of my bag of the month from Brenda. This was January. It's really pretty. And then I just cut February's. Isn't that cute? Look at that fabric. I love it. That's February's, and then I am taking a break from that too because I just have so many bags now. 
fabric. Okay, so this is the last part of haul, and this is what did the damage to me, and this is what I'm calling a birthday present to myself. <laughs> this was monthly fabric of the month from um, Dying for Cross Stitch. Doesn't have a name. It's just fa the Feb February fabric of the month, and I got a fat quarter. Looks a little bit more brown in person. No, maybe not. It's a burgundy brown. There, that's better. And then I had two pieces from um, Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Trash. This is a 28 Lugana Opal. Color, it says Barn Red. Sparkles. Roxy, you literally just came in. No. And this is a piece of 32 Joblin in the size of 17 by 17, so it's just a smaller cut. Some dusty purple. And the rest is Picture This Plus. Like I said, they had a um, orphan sale. Um, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pieces. Three of them are fat eighths. Okay, so. <clears throat> and then it turned out that an orphan sale... It must be their new colors or something because it was a color naming contest. Um, you could print out um, a certificate and I guess use these coding numbers on the fabrics to name the, the colors. And I just didn't, wasn't feeling creative enough. This is a 28 count Arbor. hard to get that color. What's up, kiddo? Roxy was scratching to go out. We're not out there anymore. What's up? Uh -huh. You need a band-aid. Daddy got it. This is a Fat Eighth um, Mesa, which wasn't as, this is showing up really pale on there. Okay, well, thanks camera for not doing this decently. Roxy, please stop. This is a Fat Eighth in Brash. It's a nice neutral. Fat Eighth of Lupine. And then this is where we got into the orphan naming. This is a 28 count, so I do not know a color yet. It's like a little gray purple with a little bit of like tan in there, kind of. Off white, yellowish. <clears throat> Another one, obviously, that doesn't have a name. Doesn't that look like a leaf? It's really cool. This is no name. These are all no name. Those are just fuzzies. This is another 28 count. This is an even weave. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? 28 count opal. And this is the same color as that first one that I showed with that like dusty purple and that like off white. And I think this is what I'm actually going to use for this pattern. I think that'll look like perfect. Another 28 count opal even weave. Be a good one for a mermaid. And then here's a 32 count even weave. Doesn't look that 
screen in person. And the last one's a 32 count opal. This one looks a little bit more blue-gray in person. So that's what I picked up. I easily could have ordered more. I had more in my cart and I made myself put stuff back. Um, outside of, well, that's all for my cross-stitch haul, but I did get another piece of haul that I want to share because it's Bluetooth speaker just released and fell from the window. That's great. Um, I did get another piece of haul. Freaking amazing. Um, I signed up for this subscription box. It's called Silk and Sonder. Um, and it's a monthly planner. I love my planners. I like being creative and doing the different trackers and stuff. But it gets to a point where it's kind of time consuming. So... This planner, it's, I mean, it's a decent size. I mean, here's my phone for scale. It's not huge. It's got a nice bind on it. And each month has a different theme. And so it's come, it's got a table of contents. And then it comes with a little write up about the theme for the month. March is knowledge gives you some instructions for some of the um, pages that they have in here. You get a year at a glance calendar. You get a large monthly planner or calendar. And then you get small four month calendars to look towards the future. So that part all, I mean calendars, you would have to transfer it the next month if you wanted to, or you could use it some other way, I guess. Then each month starts with a reflection on the previous month. It has intentions or goals for the current month. It has a mood tracker and a habit tracker. And then it has exercises that you can do, kind of like self, you know, you know, like self-care exercises. Some of it I have not gotten to yet. Um, not gonna lie, the whole self-exploration knowledge theme is kind of throwing me a little bit. Um, it's just requiring some deeper thinking. And then it has a coloring page. It has a quote. It has recipes. I'm a picky eater and won't use these recipes, but it comes with some recipes. And then it actually shows um, the website that the recipes came from, so you could go explore for other things. Plenty of blank note pages in throughout. It has an expense tracker. And then each week... Okay, so you get a week layout, like an overview. Yeah. Instead of using it for meal planning, I'm using it for tracking my eating. You've got goals. You've got, you know, your health goals. You've got a weekly tracker, so that's what I'm using it for. Um, I've got, um, like, daily habits in there that I want, plus I'm using it to track my weight. And then after that, you have a whole week spread daily. So I use the top half for calendar and the bottom half for things, you know, like a to-do list, you track your water. It's got stuff up at the top, you know, one thing that you can put in the top. And then you get note pages in between each week. So I freaking love this thing. Here's this week. It shows, it highlights what week you're on. Here's my weekly calendar. Again, to-do at the bottom. It's great. Um, I'm really excited to see how it goes over the next couple months. If I stay consistent with it, I'm planning on and on doing either a six or twelve month option, um, just to save a little bit of money. And then it, midway through the month, it actually has this page too, and you can kind of reflect on things you're currently enjoying or doing or thinking about. So, again, Silk and Sonder, if I think about it, I'll put the um, referral link below if you want to check it out. 
And it really, I think it's like 20 bucks a month. But for the time savings, where it's already laid out for me, and I can still add my stickers and add my little creative touches, I don't have to think as hard and create a whole layout on my own. Excuse me. <coughs> for me, it's worth the 20 bucks. And I have canceled some other subscription boxes, so... So that's it for haul. Um, let's do stitchy news and life updates. I already told you I've been ill. Um, so kind of been down on the couch. Now that the weather's nice, started doing a little bit of spring cleaning, getting ready to get the kids signed up for swim lessons um, that are going to start in April. Um, had a little bit of a scare with Ravi. He started drooling so bad uh, a little over a week ago. It was on a Sunday. He was just drooling like crazy. He still wasn't acting too far off from his normal personality, so I didn't worry too much, but I did take him to the vet Monday after work, and the vet couldn't find a single thing wrong with him. So basically, he said, watch him. If it gets worse, come back, and we won't charge you a second office visit. We'll do a little bit more searching, but otherwise, he's really healthy. So we got home, and of course, he stopped drooling that night. So $47 later, all that happened was Romeo got pissed off because Revy smelled like the vet. So for two, three days in the evenings, um, I'd sit on the couch. Brian would sit in his computer chair. Romeo would growl and hiss at Revy. Revy wanted to be by Romeo. And the dog was afraid of Romeo's growling. So the dog would hide like as far under Brian's legs as he, she could get and stare at a wall. <laughs> so from now on, anytime one cat goes to the vet, the other cat's going too for moral support. Um, but they're back to normal now. I think I caught them hissing a little bit a couple days ago. But otherwise, I mean, they're, they're fine. They're back to cuddling and playing together just fine. So he's good. Um, the fabric dyeing that I was telling you about. So, kind of exciting. The fabric dyeing was done as a tutorial um, for um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch on YouTube. So I don't know exact date that it'll be posted, but soon she's going to be posting my tutorial. It's only like 17, 18 minutes long. Um, and it's how I dyed the fabric. So when that shows up, um, I'll try to put the link in my next video. Um, and if you haven't checked out Caterpillar Cross Stitch on YouTube, you should probably go check it out anyway. Um, the other bit of exciting news I have, I'm going to be doing some model stitching. So I kind of want to finish up a couple of these smaller projects. Um, especially like Baby Yoda and the Bat because I just got the email today that my models are on the way. Um, maybe I can actually finish Yoda tonight because it's black work and then finish the two black work sales between tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday. I should be able to finish Yoda, my two versions of the black work sales, including the blacks that release tomorrow. And the bat. I want to get that one finished as soon as possible too. So it can go out in the mail. Because I have six months to complete my models. And I'm not going to tell you who I'm stitching for yet. Um, I just kind of want to hang on to that for now. But I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, and then obviously as soon as those release and I'm allowed to share I'll be sharing those <clears throat> um giveaways when I was on a month ago I had six giveaways so let's do those quick I'm going to use random number generator <coughs> I'm so sorry I will learn how to edit videos at some point and you won't have annoying things like that Brian actually got me um, video editing software for 
my birthday. So he's gonna kind of play around with it and learn it too. And we'll go from there. So for the giveaways, I wrote, I just, I always go to newest comment first. I put everybody in order. Um, first person to comment to last. And we're gonna use random number generator. So. Um, sorry, I need to use my phone to use random number generator. I got distracted because somebody sent me a Facebook message because I posted a car on Marketplace for my dad today. And um, My poor dad, I'm not going to make him sign up for Facebook. He tried and it was a disaster for him. So I told him I'd post it on Marketplace for him. Um, okay, so... I have two chenille trim giveaways. I already got the yardage separated, so there's two sets, and I'm not gonna do like, I'm just gonna draw two names and randomly toss one in, because, yeah. There were 37 people that entered for the chenille trim. So let's go to random org okay minimum one max 37 generate first one is 29 and that is rosemary sanchez i need to find a pen so rosemary sanchez let's do the second one Number 20 is Patty Smith. Okay, so there's two of them, and I will go back and comment on your comments. Maybe not immediately, because I'm a little slow, but in the next day or two, I will. <laughs> um, the second, third giveaway is for the lace trim, and these are these trims are all from um, hand, uh, Kathy. Um, why am I blanking out? Dying for cross stitch. Thank you, self. Lace trim had 35 entries. Let me change this to 35 and hit generate. Number 10 is E. Kennedy. So again, I will go back through there. Fourth giveaway is for the fabric scraps that you could use to make a project bag or back, you know, a, a finish, whatever. There were five entries. So put in five, hit generate. Number three is, I can't even read my own writing, Renda Cornick. Number giveaway number five is for the um, black work rose pattern, and I'm just gonna stick this in an envelope. It's gonna be folded. Sorry. Um, and I had five entries for that as well, so we can leave five and hit generate. Number one, and that is um, Andrew, Andrew, Aunt, uh, Andre, Andre Williams. Like I said, I'll comment on your comment. And the last is the Rovaris Daisy chart, which now I'm realizing uh, fits with that Daisy pre-order from Rovaris that I had. And there were 38 entries. And number 11. Number 11 is Brenda Greer. Brenda, I do believe I already have your contact information, so I'll just drop that in the mail. Congratulations to all my winners. Um, next giveaway. Okay, so my original intent was to do a really big giveaway for my birthday. Um, and then didn't make it back before my birthday. Yay. <laughs> I'm still going to do a really big giveaway. Um, I'm going to hold off for... Just a couple more weeks. 
I've been getting new subscribers. Thank you guys for checking me out. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm at just over, I think I'm at like 2004, last I checked, 2,419 subscribers. Let's give it a couple weeks and do this as a big 2,500 subscriber slash birthday giveaway. And I will show you some of the stuff I've already gotten. Um, I'm going to do two giveaways. One is going to be this awesome package of stuff that I've collected, but I'm only going to ship to the U.S. Um, I can't afford a potential package of shipping $40 on top of everything that I've spent money on. So the physical collection of stuff, sorry, my husband's staring at me from outside, the <laughs> physical collection of goodies is going to be open to the U.S. only. Now, for outside of the U.S., because I know I do have a lot of a lot of subscribers outside of the U.S., and I don't want to leave anyone out, I'm going to do a gift card. Um, probably either one, two, three, Stitch or Etsy, winner's choice. However, I'm going to have to figure out how I want to do this. Now, I don't think that with my little channel with only 2,500 viewers I'm gonna have this issue but uh, Danielle Stitcherista did a, a some big giveaways and they were four gift cards and she had people fraudulently claiming the gift cards so she lost money giving these prizes to people that weren't really the winners and then turning around and actually giving the prize to the winner as well the real winner. So I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet, but I am going to make sure that who I'm talking to is the actual winner. Um, there may be some password uh, response via multiple media platform things I, I I'm kind of bouncing an idea around in my head so I will still do a gift certificate giveaway because I don't want to exclude anyone um just gonna have to figure out logistics so that extra couple weeks will give me time to make sure I can include everyone um and then you know it's it's gonna be standard rules with all of my giveaways over 18 please be a subscriber all that same old stuff. Um, so I will go over that again, uh, maybe my next video or the one after, depending on how quick I can get back. Um, but here is a preview of some of the stuff that I have for the goodie box. Got a whole set from Hand Dyed by Rolanda, plus a piece of fabric. Thank you for that donation, Rolanda. I purchased the tweezers. I purchased this. I use this for turning corners when I'm doing pillows. Love it. Maybe I'll do a demo on that. Um, variegated floss pack. And these are from um, my friend Cheryl. She donated some stuff too. So I've got the, the floss, plastic bobbins, the rings, and some patterns so I've got those to go, to go in there I'm going to end up having some other hand dyed floss probably some hand dyed silks probably some fabric um, I think there will be a project bag in there so I'm going to get some more goodies for that um, so that'll be exciting and I will show everything and then a scissor fob will go in there one of my antique fobs so um i think that's everything it's been just an hour so i'm going to sign off i need to feed my family it's left overnight so i need to feed them and get all of this stuff put away and stop talking because my voice really kind of hurts now <laughs> but i'm glad that i could make it back and i'm glad that i could share everything with you guys and I really appreciate you stopping by to see me. So 
Until next time, happy stitching and happy stashing.